Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a waterfall card flip book. Um, and I've never done this before so it's going to be super exciting. So the first thing you can see I've got here is a really long piece of, um, I think it's just a planner I've ripped out of the middle of a Frankie magazine. And I've made it really long because it needs to fit into this envelope. And I'm going to be trimming it down in a second. But basically you need double the length of what you want your waterfall flip book to be. So I've got a really long piece of paper because I want it to be quite a big one and I've also got some um, pretty paper and it's quite thick paper as well. I've also got a long thin strip that I'm going to be wrapping around the flip book in order to make a little binder so you can push it up and down um, and I'll explain all of that in a second. So let's jump right into the tutorial. Now the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be cutting the piece of planner just so it does fit in the envelope. But I need to make sure it flits in later and I'm cutting down and trimming down the edges and then next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start uh, measuring out where my pieces of paper are going to go so as you can see I'm just layering them on top and they fit perfectly on top of this planner paper now I really want to make sure I make the dimensions right in order for it to flip open like a waterfall card and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to be measuring about a centimeter on both sides from the crease line. So I measure exactly a centimeter apart and I do this on both sides and then I'm just ruling a line in the middle so I can fold it and crease it later so it flips nicely. So as you can see I'm just bending the paper back on the ruler and then I'm also just making sure my line is nice and creased so when it does flip open um, it flips open nice and smoothly so I'm just making sure I make that crease line really firm there. The next thing I want to do is I want to get my five pieces of square stock paper and I want to start designing on them.
time on you, crafted you precisely so you could offer the world something distinct from anyone else. So when you doubt how you were created, you doubt an energy greater than us both. After you create all your pages for your waterfall flip book, um, I want you to go through and line up what pages you want on top of each other. So as you can see, I'm just figuring out the layering here. And then I want you to go and put a little strip of glue at the very, very top of each page and glue them down just under the line that you've um, drawn on the waterfall. Um, plan a page. So I want you to glue them on top of each other and they should be glued straight on top around um, a centimeter each. So glue each one um, on top of that line and then they will all line up nicely and they'll have a really even gap as well. Once you've glued them all down you may have to include a little bit of washi tape on top of each one just to make sure they all hold together and they're not going to fall apart when they're flipping um, up and flipping back down again. Just use this really nice thick washi tape so this is a marble washi tape and it's super super good when you're um, binding two pieces of paper together just because it has such a nice width it really helps bring a lot of strength to the flip book so once that's done you can see that the flip books already nicely flipping backwards um, but first you'll just have to put your little binder tab around the flip book so you put it over the two pieces of paper that you originally folded in half so I'm just binding it around that planner that I ripped out from the middle of the Frankie magazine so you don't want to be gluing the back of it you only want to be gluing the two flaps on top of the top um, folded over planner if that makes sense so you want to make sure that the you're only gluing the little side tabs and you're just gluing it on top of the um, folded planner so the back can still move up and down when you're flipping the book so once that's done, I've just wrote on the top um, piece of paper that doesn't move to push up and then on the bottom piece of paper that um, you'll be holding still, I've just written hold, um, hold here I think I wrote and then I've just written on a tag and I'm just sticking that down so they know that one piece of paper you'll need to hold and the other one will work as a push up and a pull down tab and voila that's how it works so all you have to do is push that tab up and hold the other piece of paper so it doesn't move and then you can also pull it back down to put it back into place so I'm so happy with it it turned out perfectly I can't believe it actually worked I had a lot of doubt when I was making it just because the paper is so thick and I put so much on it so I thought it wasn't going to move very well but I did put those little instructions at the bottom just so my pen pal knew what to do because I thought it may be a little bit difficult if they'd never seen one of these before but I had so much fun it worked perfectly and I'm really happy with the result thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you guys next week bye